This video is sponsored by Samsung. What's going on guys, it's your average consumer. And yesterday, Samsung announced a crazy micro LED television, which is modular, where you can control the size, resolution, aspect ratio, pretty much being able to customize your TV. And it is pretty cool. So guys, check this out. You can see right here how it's modular. Before there were just two panels, we just added a third. And that's kind of the whole concept behind all of this. And this is still very much a concept. It's gonna be interesting to see what shapes these actually come in. But the idea here is being able to add very easily panels onto your existing micro LED TV and then just kind of change the shape depending on what you need. Now, I think this is actually really cool because Harry and I have been struggling with figuring out what TV size to get for our house. Uh, we have some pretty interesting walls in there, but this is gonna be a game changer because we can actually customize the TV to fit the wall itself. So this could be exactly what we've been looking for. You guys, check this out. We got some other YouTuber friends right here. Zach, my man. What's up? What do you think about the micro LED TVs, man? It's pretty awesome. Man. They can combine, they can take all that technology and shrink it down, and it's, they were talking about the light inside of it, and 100% mm -hmm. of the light is like projected outward. So there's like no oh. light loss, meaning that it's incredibly efficient, which I like. Yeah, I mean, who wouldn't want that? Save energy, especially when you're adding a bunch of panels. Yeah. You don't have to worry about too much energy consumption. It's awesome. It's pretty cool. Magnus. <laughs> Magnus, baby. Now, we don't want Zach bending any of these panels, okay? Definitely don't want that. Sarah. So you got the new studio. Oh, I did. What do you think? You gonna add some micro LEDs to it? Oh my gosh, I would love to have just a wall, all screen. The wall. <laughs> yeah. We oh, just happen exactly. to be standing in front of. The wall. <laughs> Over there, Jay, look at the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Although the problem is I have very tall ceilings in my office. Ooh. It's about probably like 12, 15 feet. That could feels, get a little expensive. That'd be a lot of micro LED. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so guys, right here, they're kind of showing some examples. Look at the aspect ratio of that. But when you add a giant panel to it, it gets even wider, which is just nuts. Could you imagine being able to completely control the size of your screen and how you want it to look exactly? We haven't seen that yet. This is game changing, honestly. Okay, guys, so what we're looking at right here is a 146 inch TV. Can you imagine that? That's bigger than my projector at home, which is just nuts. So this is basically all those little micro LED modules that we saw come together to create a 146 inch panel. And yesterday we saw a 219 inch panel, which just goes to show you, you can just keep adding and adding and adding on to this. You can have an entire wall outfitted with this. And I could just imagine the possibilities, man. 146. I get rid of my projector in a heartbeat for one of these. And there are tons of things that were announced or are going to be announced. Micro LEDs really caught my attention, but the next big thing, which is really big, is 8K TV. Now to be completely honest with you guys, I have yet to see an 8K TV in person. They've been at CES forever, but I've never actually stood in front of one. And here we have one. I'm looking at it for the very first time. This is 8K content. Oh, that's crispy. Look at, oh my gosh. And this is detail you don't really see with regular full HD, but man, 8K. Yo, you can see all the fine hairs on a bumblebee at that. Yo, this is cr I need this in my life. I can make my own 8K content. I need one. So right here, we've got standard definition content, but Samsung's actually working on AI upscaling that makes it a lot clearer. So this is 1080p on a 4K display or a 4K TV. This is 1080p on an 8K TV. Can I see a difference? Oh, you can. Oh, wow, yeah, look at what they're pointing out. Oh, yeah, you can see some artifacting over here, while over here, you don't see that at all. It looks just clear as day. Very, very impressive. Ari. Help me take this down. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of AI and upscaling to 8K, the Samsung TVs actually have a quantum processor 8K inside. So the processor is using AI and machine learning to do things like detail creation. So all of those soft images where it just lacks a lot of detail, it's gonna use machine learning to kind of fill that in and make it look a lot nicer. And it also does edge restoration, which pretty much means those blurry edges that we usually see on standard definition content, are gonna look a lot sharper. And probably my favorite feature is noise reduction. I hate seeing a lot of noise when I'm 
watching something. And basically, for those of you who don't know what noise is, it's pretty much those little, little dots that are flashing a lot of different colors. I'll show you guys an example with some B-roll, but this pretty much gets rid of that, and that is awesome. And guys, that Quantum processor also works with AI sound, so it enhances the audio that you can hear when you're watching whatever you're watching. So they've got some examples right here. This is a sports, uh, this is soccer being played right now. This is with the football. <laughs> this is with TV AI sound off. And uh, let's see, let's do TV AI sound. That's an immediate difference. Oh, I can hear the crowd a lot more. You can hear them clapping. Let me turn that off. And Ari actually just pointed this out. This is exactly what I just described. It's actually enhancing the background sound. So like the crowd, uh, the realism of the broadcast is what it's saying. And that's exactly what I heard there before I even read that. So that's actually really cool because it did what it's supposed to do. Now let's see a movie. So let's turn it all off. Let's try a movie here. Oh, what's this? I like robots. Gee, is this Pacific Rim? Yeah. Pacific Rim 2, that's your, that's your jam, man. Okay, so this is just no AI sound. That's really impressive from the TV. Now let's try this from the sound bar. Oh. All right, guys. This is impressive. I just want it all. Samsung, just give, give it all to me, please. All right, so earlier we were able to check out some of the AK TVs that Samsung had, but today they officially announced the 98 inch version of that. And guys, this is massive, and the quality. Look at the detail, the pores on his face. We just got used to 4K, and they already doubled it, or quadrupled it. It's nuts. And the fact that this is a 98-inch TV is just mind-blowing. I feel like the most we usually see is 75 inches, like in regular stores, but this is gonna be available for pre-order today. But not only do they have 98-inch options, but they have 85, 82, 75, and 65, all in 8K. So guys, we saw a lot of cool Samsung TV stuff today, but there's still so, so much more stuff to check out. And if you guys are interested in what else Samsung has come out with, I'll probably have some stuff in other videos. There's a lot more CES to cover. But if you enjoyed this video, be the cool guy or girl that gives it a thumbs up. Huge shout out to all the YouTubers who jumped in and gave some opinions. But I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then, it's your average consumer. Peace. I need AK, baby.